Hey, what's up guys? This is Eric with Painting Business Pro and this video I'm going to teach you how to do estimating. So we're going to talk about how to estimate a paint job um, and we're actually not going to cover it all in one video. So to, on this video we're really just going to cover the fundamentals and the basics behind how to estimate correctly and then in another video we're going to cover specifically interior estimating and in another video specifically exterior estimating. Um, so how to come up with your prices for interior and exterior. So that's to come a little bit later. In this video we're going to cover the fun fundamentals. I'm also going to have one other video about why you don't need to be so worried about pricing. Um, and the reason I want to share that with you guys is, is there's nothing I get more questions about than estimating. And I don't just get questions about estimating, I get people freaking out and concerned about how they're going to come up with their prices. And you really do not need to worry about your pricing. It's going to work itself out. That's really one of the last things you should be worried about if you really seriously start thinking of starting a painting business but I see a lot of people not start a painting company just because they're worried about their pricing. And it's crazy, but that's for another video. Okay, so there's a couple things you wanna understand about estimating. The first thing you need to know is that it's not gonna be exactly correct every single time, and you're gonna kinda of roughly get in the ballpark and that's gonna be okay. Um, however, it is kind of a scientific approach where we do wanna get specific measurements and be as accurate as we can just to make sure that we're not overestimating anything and not underestimating things. So we're going to get to the specific standards in some of those other, other videos, but for now, we're just going to look at some of the basics. So there's a couple things you need to start with before you come up with pricing. The first thing you need to know is what is your margin? Okay, by knowing what your margin is, that, that's going to tell you how much you need to mark up your cost. Because how we're going to come up with our price is first we need to, need to figure out how much it's going to cost us to produce that job, and then we're going to add in our margin. If you're running a very small business and it, you're the only person doing the marketing and the sales, and then you have a subcontractor doing the job, well, your margin maybe only needs to be 30% then. You know, that's, you know, paying yourself 30% for the sales and the marketing and, you know, all that. You know, that's probably what I was at when I first started. I, and then I raised my prices very shortly after, but that's probably what I was pricing on when I first started. That's also kind of going to be the pricing that you're going to do if you're looking at doing commercial type of jobs or bigger projects like 10,000 to 30,000 and up size projects because the margins are just going to be slimmer on those jobs. So first you need to know what your margin is. For Foothills Painting, um, we do 50% um, as I've shared in other videos. So what that means is if it costs us $1,500 to produce this job, we're going to charge the customer about $3,000. Okay, so you need to know kind of what your, your markup is first. Because at 50% you should fall right in the ballpark with other companies. Here's how we actually come up with our pricing. There's a few things that we need to know. First, we need to know how many hours the job is going to take. We need to know how much we're going to pay our employees per hour. We need to know how, many, how much our materials is going to cost. And we need to know how much materials we're going to need. So these are the four, the four things we need to figure out the cost. All right, so dollars per hour, we're going to go with 20. All right, 20 is a good, $20 per hour is pretty standard you can go with. Materials, you're just going to have to check with the paint store on how much uh, your materials cost. You know, you can get gallons of paint from you know, 16 bucks all the way up to like 50 or $60 a gallon. Check with your paint store and see what paint you're going to be using. Um, you probably want to aim for paint that's in the $20 to $30 range. Um, so our paint's anywhere from $21 a gallon to $29 a gallon. And we let the customer pick which type of paint they want. So let's say in this example we're going with the $21 per gallon paint because they're trying to, you know, save money. So now all we have to figure out is we have to figure out the number of materials, so how many gallons of paint we need, and then we need to figure out the hours. All right, now that's what I'm going to go into in another video. I am going to give you kind of some shortcuts, you know, to figuring that out here in a second. So here's the shortcut. For exterior painting, there's linear feet. So that's like trim boards, right? It's like trim board is like a long linear feet. Like maybe a two-story home has a trim board running up the whole corner. That's like a 20 linear feet of trim board. Um, so there's linear feet and then there's square feet. Linear feet, um, about one hour per 40. Okay, so 40 linear feet for an hour of painting. So we're going to assume that, you know, for trim, 40 feet per hour. For, uh, for the body of the house or the eaves of the house, we're going to say uh, 200. And that's if we're spraying the house. If you're rolling the house, we're going to do 150. So what that means is if you have a 2,000 square foot house, um, that's right there is going to be 10 hours. And then if you have 400, you know, feet of trim on that house, that's going to be another 10 hours. So we've got this as a 20 hour job. Those are kind of typical standards, and we're going to break those down in the exterior estimating video to exactly what those standards are going to be um, more specifically. 
But that's really what they all boil down to, is that's the square footage, that's the linear feet, and then we also have prep work. Um, so you do need to estimate hours for the prep work, depending on where you, depending on where you work, different areas of the country have very different amounts of prep work. So in Colorado, for example, we have very little prep work. Out on the East Coast, you have tons and tons of prep work. So you're going to need to figure out the hours of prep work kind of on your own out there. Um, you know, and I would talk with the paint store and I would, I would just, you know, um, I would ask around and maybe talk with your subcontractors and things like that. And you'll be able to figure out how much time to, to budget on prep work. We'll get into more of that in the exterior uh, estimating video. Um, interior, um, I'm actually not going to get into the interior. We'll just cover that in kind of the next video. So now, where are we at? We've got our total hours figured out. So we have 20 hours, we're going to say, 20 hours at $20 per hour. Okay, so that's going to be $400. That's how much our labor is going to cost us on this job. And then, you know, let's say the gallons of paint, which again, we're going to get into that in the other videos. But uh, let's say for this job, we actually needed 12 gallons of paint, which is actually going to be pretty accurate for this. Um, so 12 gallons of paint times 21 per gallon. Uh, what is that? That's going to be 252. All right, so 252. So now we come up with our total cost of $652. Okay, so now here's the here's the last part. Now you got to mark this up. That's how much it's going to cost you. So that's where your margin comes into play. So what we do uh, at Foothills Painting is we take the cost, which is 652, and we divide it by 0.4. Um, so what we're going to come up with in this example is about 1600. All right, so that's our price, and then we actually give our customers 10% up to 10% off, and we almost always give them that discount. So this job, we're actually going to end up pricing for about $14.40 is our final price on that job. Um, it's going to cost us, we're going to end up paying $720 to produce the job instead of $652 because there's always a little bit of wiggle room there. So that's how we come up with our pricing for about a 50% markup. So we actually mark it up. 250% uh, we don't just double it we double it plus some and then we take a discount off because um, there are some other miscellaneous accounts we we account for in there for all estimating purposes you need to figure out the number of hours the number of gallons of paint uh, come up with your total cost and then basically double it and that's going to be a good good effective pricing strategy so in the next videos in exterior uh, bidding and how to bid interior we're going to talk specifically about what those standards are so you can accurately come up with the hours um, and the number of gallons that you're going to need to quote a job properly. So look out for those in the next videos. If you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below this video. It's a little red button, or you can hit subscribe up here in the corner. Um, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, and I'd love to hear from you in the comments. So I'm out. Thanks.